Hey guys, welcome back to this per unit tutorial. This is tutorial 5 on how a series of per unit calculations. In this tutorial, we're going to determine how to change an old system into a new design system. So the problem statement says we have a 400 volt 5 kVA load has a per unit impedance of 0 0.2. That is this one with its own rating as base so that will be the 5 kva the rating as the base for this whole system now it is said it is to be placed in a system with a base of 10 kva and 800 volt now this is a new system as you can see and this is the old system so basically we have this old system had another supplier another generator that was designed for this system now for some reason the generator got faulty so we are now replacing the generator a new generator to work with this old system remember this is a load so now they are asking us to calculate the load per unit impedance in the new system so this means the combination of the old system and the new system is becoming one system so this is what they are asking us to do to calculate the load per unit impedance in the new system because this is now going to be implemented with a new system. This is going to be a very simple and short tutorial. And again, guys, if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Simtech channel. That will be highly appreciated. Please support us. So moving forward, the solution is going to be we are basically being asked to calculate a new per unit system using the old per unit value. So we know what is the general formula for the per unit. So if you've been doing a lot of per unit uh, problems, you know there is a one general formula for the per unit. That is Z per unit new that we need to calculate is equal to Z per unit old times SBN. SBN here is SB new. So in this case, that will be the 10 kVA, which is a new system over SB old, SBO, which is in this case, the 5 kVA of the old system. And you multiply that times the square of VB old, which is the 400 volt of the old system on the load and VB new here will be the 800 volt of the new system. So basically, you just apply the general formula and you must just figure out what are the quantities you have so that you don't mix them up. So we have the following values. So that will be SB new, 10 kVA. SB old will be 5 kVA. And VB old will be 400 volt. And VB new will be 800 volt. So basically, we have everything. The only thing that is left to do here is to replace all the all the values into our formula and that will give us a z per unit new of 0 comma 1 j per unit now this is very interesting you can see is equal to 0 0.1 and that is basically half of this 0 0.2 thank you guys for watching if you like the tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and put your comment below if you need some clarification. Thank you. Cheers.